so excited that we are starting the race this year in Secunda. Uh, this is the first time we've actually managed to start the race. Secunda is, of course, uh, all about Sassel. This is where we have our very large Sinfuels factory and uh, many thousands of our employees live and work here. So we're very excited that we could actually bring the solar challenge to their doorstep this year. At the heart of the Solar Challenge sponsorship is the fact that it's about science, engineering and technology. And as an organization, that is what SASL stands for. So for us, there's clear synergies when it comes to STEM education, because we have a very strong social investment focus on those particular subjects and those disciplines. But more than that, it's also about alternate power generation. And that is a big focus for area as we, area for SASL as we look to introduce uh, uh, large-scale renewable energy into our facilities. I think what makes it iconic is it's one of a few solar challenge races that actually takes place in the year. So it's part of the global solar challenge uh, schedule and this takes place every two years in South Africa and of course Sassel is the lead sponsor for that. Uh, this particular year we've changed the route completely from what we've had over the past decade now, we're starting in Secunda, we're going to pass through the Northern Cape this time and then make our way towards Cape Town. So I think that presents a lot of interesting challenges for the teams who participated in this race before because it's unknown terrain for them. The guys got used to the, the route I think in the past but this time around I think they're in for quite a few surprises with a completely different route.